Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. And like I said, I'm going through all the different plumbing products, and, and now I'm on the copper. Uh, I installed a lot of this back in the 1980s, and even in the 90s. And it's still a good product and still used somewhat today, but if they've mostly moved away from this and they're now using PEX, in which I'm going to do an episode on that as well. And, but the biggest problem with copper is a lot of times it didn't get installed correctly. And that's what I'm going to go over. Uh, basically, uh, copper is also expensive as well. And, but they make these, this cleaning tool, which is designed to clean the, the pipe. And this one here is designed to clean the fitting itself. This is, it's really important that this step is taken. And also, it requires this soldering paste, which is a paste, and you have to paste that on, onto this. And then also slip this fitting on. And then, and then also a torch is required uh, to melt this solder. And that has to be done correctly too. Now also know that uh, this is actually lead solder. And you, uh, some of this stuff is still around. And it was being used all the way through the 80s. And so that, to me, is kind of subjective. But, you know, if you have an older house, uh, it's possible it could have some uh, lead soldered fittings. And I don't know if that's a hazard or not. I know it wouldn't stop me from buying the house, but I just know that, that's, that this lead solder was used all the way through the 80s. And so now I don't even think you can buy it anymore. It has to be uh, what they call pure tin uh, solder. And the reason why a lot of plumbers like using the lead is because it didn't take as much heat to melt it. And so it requires a torch like this. And this fitting has to be heated up. And there's a certain method that has to be used as well in order for this to, to uh, properly seal. Now, uh, some of the biggest problems with copper pipe uh, has to do with uh, dissimilar metals making contact with it. Uh, one uh, I find quite often, even to this day, is where the copper pipe is just coming straight off the, the water heater and so with no dielectric union separating it. And any time you have uh, two dissimilar metals uh, touching each other, it can create electrolysis in the pipe and, and cause it to corrode and fail over time. And that's usually one of the biggest problems copper faces. But I'll, I'll say that if I was building a house right now and I was building that house on the slab, I, I would actually want copper in the slab. I would use type K for that. And the reason why I like it is I used to plumb a lot of houses uh, with type K copper in the slab because it's real malleable and it can uh, pretty much go along uh, with the expansion and contraction of the concrete and it's really really thick and when I say use uh, that's why it's scheduled egging uh, type K copper that's really what it is so anyway uh, another thing too is a lot of plumbers didn't want to spend the money to to have the fittings behind the bathtub copper and so what they would do is they would use galvanized or steel pipe or and, and fittings and this would go here and then the tub spout will connect to that. Well then on the top part of this is copper coming up and so now you have two dissimilar metals there again making contact. Uh, another thing that was a problem is the plumbers would also use uh, steel strapping too uh, to, to secure this pipe you know to different places in the house, the wall or under it or wherever. And so that's why they make these copper clamps like this because this is what should be used uh, and not have that way you don't have that dissimilar metal contact there but you could also use plastic ones as well just so long as they're not metal and but if you have copper pipe in the house it's, it's really hard to know uh, how long it's going to last a lot of it's going to depend on how it was installed most most importantly but they also make different thicknesses of this as well like I said about the slab copper being type K and scheduled egging uh, they also make a type L and M copper too. And so if the plumber was trying to save money and put M copper in, well then it's not as thick as type L and it's probably not going to last as long as a result. So you know, just know these things about copper pipe. Uh, if you have it in your house, it, it is important that you don't have the similar metal making contact with it. 
And if you, you can also transition to this uh, from PVC or any other product, including PEX, you know, just by taking, in this case, this is a male adapter here, and this is a CPVC adapter, and this will just thread on there so you can go from uh, copper to PVC. But that same, same holds true for PEX as well. So I hope this has been somewhat informative to you. I'm um, Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections. And um, also take a look at the other episodes I have on here. Uh, I've got one on PVC, CPVC, and I got one on polybutylene that's pretty interesting as well. And so take the time to go watch those, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this one too. Take care, guys.